Well, today is World Bee Day. Bees, of course, are important for the environment. And our local group, Detroit Hives, is on a mission to educate us all about the benefits of bees. And they're not just talking, they're doing. They've created over 20 beehives in Detroit using empty lots to create urban bee farms. We're joined now by Timothy Jackson and Nicole Lindsay. They are co-founders and executive directors of Detroit Hives. Uh, Timothy and Lindsay, uh, Timothy and Nicole, rather, thank you so much for joining us today. Great, yeah. thanks for having us. Happy, happy Bee Day. Here. Uh, happy Bee Day indeed. Uh, you know, Nicole, tell us a little bit about what World Bee Day is and why it's so important. Yeah, so World Bee Day is a great way that we get to recognize and educate people about the importance of bees. So the world is home to over two, I'm sorry, 20,000 species of bees. Wow. So this is a great opportunity to learn about their importance. They are responsible for one third of the food that we eat. So this is a great way to get people involved and connected with nature and to learn about their importance. Yeah, and you know, when people think of bees, they think of maybe suburbs or parks or rural areas. Uh, but uh, Tim, tell us about how urban areas can also play a crucial role in supporting the bee population. Well, absolutely, especially like a city like Detroit with so much abundance of green space, we're able to address the issue of food insecurity. You know, one of our, Detroit is somewhat considered a food insecure city. So being able to introduce honeybee hives and create these pollinating habitats not only secures food for our pollinators, but also us as well. Well, that is amazing, really helping to support uh, the food chain. Now, you guys have created Detroit Hives. Tell us a little bit about the organization and how you're working to create social, environmental, and a financial impact in the city through bees. Absolutely. So Detroit Hives is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Found it, found it in 2016. We exist in over 20 locations, managing over 50 honeybee hives right here in the city of Detroit. Also, through our through the Be the Change program, we educate thousands of inner city youth on the importance of bee conservation. So, we also work to create a social, environmental, and financial impact um, in the city of Detroit. Social by the means of being able to, to revitalize these vacant lots and create uh, opportunities for neighbors to talk to each other, to learn more about bees, to create community events, honey tasting workshops, um, environmental by being able to once again revitalize vacant lots, mm -hmm. be able to address the pollinator habitat loss, and lastly, financial by being able to create jobs here in the city of Detroit, but also using our byproduct honey and being able to work with local restaurants and businesses as well. Now that is amazing. Now, you said be the change. I have to ask. How many E's are in the B in Be the Change? Oh, just two. <laughs> two, right? B yeah. the Change is in the Bumblebee. Okay. Unintended. I, I, exactly. Yes, I assumed as much. That's why I had to ask. All right. So, <laughs> you know, we hear something about uh, swarms and swarm season. Tell us a little bit about what swarm season is and why we should be on the lookout for bee swarms. Yeah. So, currently, we're right now in swarm season. So, we're in the springtime here in Michigan. We have winters. Uh, when a swarm season happens, it's either the colony has become too overpopulated where they can no longer smell the bee pheromone, or when it comes a little bit congested, they're in a small area, or, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's time for them to split. But it's a way that they naturally reproduce their colony. So it splits the colony in half mm -hmm. so it can grow and develop in another area. So actually when the queen gets old or sometimes when she can't lay uh, fertilized eggs anymore, the worker bees will actually go into action. So they have scout bees and they actually go out and scout locations to where it will be their next home. So we as beekeepers, like Detroit Hives, we're available to go catch those swarms as well. So be on the lookout. If you see a swarm, don't be afraid. Contact Detroit Hives, we'll come out and we'll be able to rescue those bees and place them in a home that will be you know, inclusive for the environment. So what? please, if you see a bee swarm, visit our Facebook page Instagram or check out some of our reels on how we safely remove swarms. Well, that is fantastic. Now, I know you guys have an event today. Tell us a little bit about that event. Absolutely. So we're partnering with Cold True and together we pollinated a new flavor called Phony Cone. It's a 100 percent vegan ice cream with vegan like flavor honey toppings and 100 percent of this uh, Phony Cone goes back right back into our mission. So 100 percent of all sales goes right back into our mission and supporting and creating um, urban pollinary habitats right in the city of Detroit. Yep, so come out to Cold Truth Ice Cream today and help celebrate with us for World Bee Day. So Absolutely. you'll be cooling off today because it's gonna be 90 degrees 
So cool law and uh, help support a great uh, nonprofit. And if you'd like to learn more about Detroit Hives, you can find out uh, all about them at DetroitHives.org. Timothy Jackson, Nicole Lindsay, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate your insight and best of luck with all of your work. Thank, thank you. you. Be well. You're welcome. We will be well.